Shalom, and welcome to Hebrew Bible Secrets with your host, Rabbi Jeremy Beetle. We are reading today from the book of John, starting at chapter 15. John, chapter 15, verse 1. 1. I am the true vine, and my Av is the farmer. 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he took away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it that it may bring forth more fruit. 3. Now you are already clean through the word which I have spoken to you. 4. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me, and I in him, the same brings forth fruit, much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. 6. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done to you. 8. Herein is my Av esteemed, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. 9. As the Av has loved me, so have I loved ye. Continue ye in my obedience. 10. If you guard and do my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Av's commandments, and abide in his love. 11. These things have I spoken to you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. 12. This is my commandment, that ye be blessed to one another, as I have been blessed to ye. 13. The greatest benevolence for a person is this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. 14. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. 15. Henceforth I do not call you servants, for the servant knows not what the master does. But I have called ye friends, for all things that I have heard from my Av I have made known to ye. 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen ye, and appointed ye, that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever ye shall ask of the Av in my name, he may give it to you. 17. These things I command you, that you are blessed to one another. 18. If the world hates ye, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen ye out of the world, therefore the world hates ye. 20. Remember the word that I said to you, the servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute ye. If they have guarded my sayings, they will guard your sayings also. 21. But all these things will they do to you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. 22. If I had not come and spoken to them, they had not had sin, but now they had no cloak for their sin. 23. He that hates me hates my Av also. 24. If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my Av. 25. But this comes to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. 26. But when the counsellor of wisdom has come, whom I will send to you from the Av, the Ruach, set apart spirit of truth, which originates from the Av, she shall testify of me. 27. And you also shall bear witness, 
because you have been with me from the beginning. So that now brings us to the end of chapter 15. So let's go back and have a look at some of the footnotes in chapter 15. So the first footnote we have is in verse 1. I am the true vine. So let's have a look at this. So this is the same picture as presented by Isaiah 5 of Israel and the Father and the Son-Israel relationship. So the Son is Israel, so it's a Father and Son relationship, meaning those of us who turn, we turn back to the Torah, we are the Son of the Father. Those of us who keep the commandments, we are the son of the father. So it's a father-son relationship. Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you. So let's have a look at this. If you abide in me and my words. So if you keep the Torah, then your prayers will be answered. That is a guarantee. Okay. So let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 8. Herein is my Av esteemed, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. So let's have a look at this. So to be a disciple, you must obey Torah, else you can be an onlooker, but not a disciple. Okay? So keeping the commandments is part of being a disciple of Yahushua, Jesus, so you must be keeping the commandments in order to be a disciple. Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 9. As the Av has loved me, so have I loved ye. Continue ye in my obedience. So let's have a look at this. Here the term translated love from agape is meaningless since it has a very wide meaning, and in the ancient meaning, it refers to obedience and loyalty. Okay? So love, in this sense, is obedience and loyalty to the Torah and to the commandments. Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 10. If you guard and do my commandments, you shall abide in my love. So let's have a look at this. So you must uphold his set apart Torah as eternal law, unlike others who abrogate it. Okay? So we know that obviously those in the church do not keep the commandments. Um, so this is what Yahshua is saying. You must uphold his set apart Torah as eternal law. So let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 14. You are my friends, if you do whatever I command you. Okay, so you are my friends. So let's have a look at this. So Abraham, our father, was Yahweh's friend because he was obedient to the Torah. And so can we be his friends if we re remain obedient. He was willing to even sacrifice his son Yitzhak for Yahweh. So here, Yahshua is Yahweh in flesh, restoring the covenant made with Abraham and calling us all his friends if we obey him. Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen ye, and appointed ye, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain that whatever ye shall ask of the Av in my name, he may give it to you. Okay. Whatever ye shall ask of the Av in my name. So let's have a look at this in my name. So Israel was specially chosen to walk with Yahweh and has an eternal destiny to be fulfilled. Do you want to be part of this destiny? If so, then walk by keeping and obeying Torah. The first century rabbim students would usually pray in the name of their rabbi, as he was their covering. Therefore, in his name here also means in his authority. Okay, so 
So let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen ye out of the world, therefore the world hates ye. Okay? Therefore the world hates ye. So let's have a look at this. If you are Israel, the world hates you because of jealousy that Satan has put in their hearts. They have hated Israel since the beginning, starting at Egypt, then Assyria, the Babylonian ex exile, Greek persecution and rule, Roman killings, African persecutions and the expulsions of the Yehudim, European Holocaust of slavery, erasure of their history, eugenics and calling others Yehuda who are not. And the hatred continues because the world, including many that are in churches, do not know Yahweh and have no part in Israel's destiny with the future. Because if the ones in churches were all Israel, then they cannot hate their own selves and will show love to true Israel in the dispersion. True Israel's identity has been stolen by Zionists who are not Israel. Their false claims to the land will not stand on the day the Messiah comes back. Okay, so let's go to the next footnote, which is in verse 20. Remember the word that I said to you. The servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute ye. If they have guarded my sayings, they will guard your sayings also. So let's have a look, look at this. They will guard your sayings also. This shows why many churches refuse to believe us, that you must keep Torah. Okay. So that now brings us to the end of John chapter 15. And I thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the other side. This is Rabbi Jeremy Beaton saying thank you for watching and Shalom Shalom. Baruch Shem, Kivod, Malkuto, Leolam Va'ed. But never be in the name of his esteemed kingdom. Forever and ever and ever. Amen.